Hey, what's up everyone? Theos here. This is an update to my LED Nixitude project. The purpose of this project is to try my best to recreate the beauty of Nixitude with LED, basically lowering the learning curve so more and more people can use it. Um, I was too busy to machine aluminum case, so I go ahead and make an acrylic one. And as you see, all the brick boards are daisy chained together and power and control by a single Arduino. This is just a 5 volt battery pack for your cell phone. The case is made from acrylic panels with 3D printed ABS parts. And here are the tubes. I made 8 of them as prototype. Only 4 pins are stick out from the socket and that's all it takes to power and control it. I'm going to plug all the tubes back in and I will fast forward this part. Right now, the Arduino is programmed to flush the number every 10 seconds. I will program it work like a clock once I receive the RTC module. The whole system is portable so you can pick it up and carry it with you. All tips it's nice and snug and it's not going to fall out even I put it upside down it only took me two hours to program this random flush function and I'm going to show you some of my code and including what you can do with this tube all right now I have the Arduino connected to my laptop with the USB cable and here is an example of the Arduino program because I'm using Arduino here so you can just program it with Arduino IDE and once you're done you just click upload and give it a few more seconds to compile this program will roll all the numbers with different colors and again it is RGB so you don't have to stick with orange but pick whatever you like. Here I have a few example colors. Um, I like orange because it is a Nixie color. You can program it with Arduino IDE or if you are an embedded system person you can for sure drive all the chips with chips. But what I did here is using Eclipse with C++. I create my own class here, just like C++, create a constructor and put your member functions in. Uh, the way I use it is simply create an object and call it. I make a lot helper function so I can reuse the code better. The, the function flushes numbers every 10 seconds is called random line. So in the main, simply put how many seconds I want to flush a milliseconds and how long I want to stay between each flush and after I'm done just click run and it will compile and burn it on the Arduino just like that and thanks for watching